Topping our news, a Coweta man says even though a jury found him not guilty of molestation, his life is still in shambles. He can't get a job and hasn't seen his children in 15 months. He says he's not, on, not the only man falsely accused of heinous crimes as part of a custody dispute. He talks to News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulbright, only on 6. Patrick Martinez says he is eternally grateful to the jurors who found him not guilty of two counts of child sexual abuse. He says it's the worst accusation you can make against a man, a father. I was devastated. I mean, it was the, the most damaging thing that could ever happen to a person. He says after the first allegation, DHS cleared him and the judge gave him joint custody and he thought all was well until he got engaged. Then four days later, a second allegation surfaced. The only thing that they had was the word of my ex-wife and what she told the children to say. That is it. There was no other evidence at all. He says DHS cleared him again, but Wagoner County charged him. He says he lost his job the next day, and even his friends started doubting him, not to mention all the online hate. There's people saying this guy should hang himself, he should put a gun in his mouth, somebody should execute this guy, they should kill him. He says he always believed the truth would win out, but he believes what happened to him happens far too often. When I went to the first therapist that I spoke with, she said, you know, I could fill this room 10 times over with men just like yourself who are well respected in their community, have no uh, previous history of any kind of abuse or allegations or anything like that. But the minute that they enter family court and enter divorce proceedings, the minute that the ex-wife isn't getting their way, suddenly they're this vicious monster who's guilty. He still hasn't been with his children and says he's been told he's going to have to re-enter their lives over a period of months because they've been apart for so long, even though that wasn't his choice. He's also trying to get his record updated so that he can get a job. In Tulsa, Lori Fulbright, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.